across Europe there are common social determinants of health that influence um, not just how healthy we are, but how effective our health policies are, how effective our health interventions are. They include ethnicity, issues of poverty, employment, education, health and social protection. And in every country, including Macedonia, depending on where you're born, your ethnicity, the amount of money you have, the security of your employment, your access to education and the quality of that education, as well as health and social protection, will determine how healthy you are. So when we're considering, as we are today, health policies, we need to consider how our health policies are also addressing these other external factors that we call social determinants of health. Where children live in poverty, the amount of money available to assure basic needs are met is low, and this means the ability to secure a healthy start in life is challenged right from the start. So what we can see here is that poverty reduction strategies are actually health strategies. They're just not called that. And we need to be um, smarter and more effective in how we jointly work with other sectors on common agendas that improve health and the determinants of health. Now that's what the evidence tells us. They're the rationale about why we should invest and why we should work on social determinants and some of the policy domains that we may want to work on. But we all know that the reality we're working in, the political context, the policy making context, has got competing agendas, diverse interest groups and multiple factors. However, we have at this moment in time a unique opportunity for improving how we work on social determinants. Why is that? Because at this moment in time there is a convergence of interest on the social determinants of health coming from all different parts of, of organisations and the globe. We have the MDG saying that actually we could have improved our performance by acting in a more coherent manner on the underlying determinants of health and in a more integrated approach at the local level. We have a new report on health inequalities in the EU just about to be published by DG Sanko. UNDP have just brought out in 2013 a discussion paper on addressing the social determinants of non-communicable diseases. That's, that's not a health, that's and UNDP. We've got the WHO Euro Review of Social Determinants of the Health Divide. We've got an, in, an instrument through The Economist worldwide talking to financial and economic leaders on why, for richer, for poorer, growing inequality is not inevitable, but it is a major challenge for progression. And in the Southeast European region of Europe, we have the Western Balkan Investment Framework talking about the need to address inequalities in the social determinants of health. This is a unique time, a convergence of interests, of opinions. So despite the usual divergence of opinions and conflicting views, here we have a unique opportunity to move forward with these, with these agendas, with all these agencies behind us, and we need to take it.